Ted gets to talk about sun for one more day. Yeah, great looking day today. If you uh, if you love that fall weather that has a lot of sunshine and 60s and 70s, and that's what uh, we've been having all week. You're going to love today. Another round of this ahead of us. Here's a look at Austin from our Lewiston Auto Camera. And look at all that sunshine. Very few clouds around. Hopefully, you're going to get a chance to, to enjoy this because we've, we've, we've been talking all week how it's going to be the first half of the week looking like this. The rest of the week, not so cheery. We have a lot of clouds and some colder weather ahead of us, but we had a beautiful day yesterday. Now looking live to the east, same vantage point uh, with our Lewiston Auto Camera. Now live, there's the sun already showing a very cheery morning. Same deal in uh, Lake City right now. Here is our uh, Pearl of the Lake camera, our Lewiston Auto Camera looking to the east. The rising sun there along Lake Pepin and Rochester. We also begin to see some of that day light there looking down Battle Road with our Lewis Auto camera 49 about five degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday to start our Wednesday morning. So we're looking pretty good so far. Winds out of the south have been with us all, all night right now. Feel 44. The wind chill air pressure is steady and temperatures more or less very close to the 50 degree mark. Not too bad for this time of the morning. Considering we are now in the second week of October. It's 50 degrees right now. Winona Rochester uh, 49 Austin 52. 47 degrees in Mason City, so we're looking at breezy warm weather. Another shot at 70 or very close to it by day's end. Tomorrow still relatively mild, but we add rain to the equation and there won't be a whole lot of sun. So today probably the, the last of the really picture perfect days. Tomorrow still mild but wet and then beyond that no mild uh, terms being used. Nothing mild about what we'll see Friday and the weekend. So pretty raw winds ahead of us as well. But we have uh, skies that are clear across the region on the backside of high pressure. That's been with us for the last couple of days providing us with abundant sunshine and very mild comfortable weather. Winds out of the south ahead of this approaching storm system will make for a breezy but mild day. We have that snow going on to our northwest. We've been talking about that there it is getting closer and closer edging its way in our direction now we're not gonna have to deal with this but this is going to be north and west of us for the next couple of days winter storm warning the dakotas uh, wyoming montana all in that also as some of that spilling up northward into saskatchewan and manitoba winter storm watch northwest minnesota up to six inches of snow out of this between tomorrow and tomorrow night so there is going to be some of that to the west of us we may see a few snowflakes but no weather headlines related to that over the weekend there's some really cold raw stuff 49 in the morning can Mute temperature. Uh, believe it or not, over the weekend, we won't even be that warm to give you an idea of how warm we are today, even at this point in the morning. South winds around 13 miles per hour. Uh, day planner, plenty of sunshine, a few extra clouds gathering late in the afternoon. A breezy scenario, 69 the expected high. Sunset, 637 up north, 50 already in War Road, 55 in Fargo. In Rochester, 49 degrees. It's 54 in Fort Dodge. Fort Madison in the mid 50s as well. Uh, 62, the average high this time of the year in the Weather Almanac. 41, the typical low. I remember uh, just a few years ago, 2010. I remember that day well. 90 degrees. It does happen. Very rarely, though. That was a record. It doesn't happen too often. But uh, gathering clouds today. Breezy will settle for something close to 70. Still not too bad, above average by around 7 or 8 degrees. Showers tonight and tomorrow as the system moves through its cold front slips to the area late tomorrow night. A couple of thunderstorms at that front and then the spotty rain showers, raw winds on Friday, falling temperatures and eventually going to Friday night. We may see a few snowflakes mixing in, but a trace amount of that. I think uh, GFS computer model a little bullish in the numbers across the board. G the European version of that keeps everything west of us in at most a trace amount for us. And I think that may be more than likely the scenario. It does look like we are going to be cold though for the weekend with those raw winds and the Dakotas. We saw that up to maybe 10, 12 inches of snow out of that uh, and with blizzard conditions with those winds. Uh, so if you're headed in that direction, the, the latter part of the work week and the weekend look kind of rough and our temperatures look really cold there uh, going from several degrees above average today to well below average over the weekend. 69 in Rochester today, 70 in Mason City. Winona 71 degrees with sunshine, gusty south winds up to 30 miles per hour tonight. Gathering clouds, showers late from midnight on, uh, but a fairly light rain. Uh, southeast winds up to 15 miles per hour. Stay in the 50s. Tomorrow, 60s, breezy, some showers, falling temperatures Friday by afternoon. We're talking low 40s, Friday night football. Uh, I think those <laughs> snowflakes will hold off until after midnight, but it's going to be raw wind uh, out of the out of the west northwest. Uh, those uh, wind chills for Friday night football uh, below the freezing mark. And then we'll have some raw winds for the weekend next week. Slow recovery ahead. Yeah, Pat and the guys will be bundling up for that. Today, yeah. though, we'll just savor and enjoy. Yes. Thanks.